that I like too much for Shan. Super surprised, the raw nature. Hola! I want to stay here. Super happy in Koshan. Inspiration comes from many, many different places. China market is actually is one of the biggest market in the world. I was actually very surprised because when my wife and I visited China, I had no idea what to expect. When I came to Gaoming, I was super surprised how many trees and mountains that I could see. They seemed totally untouched. It looked like very raw nature, which is beautiful for us and, and, and was nice. I could jump in the water. It's such a nice place to swim. I was amazed when, when we got there. It lacks peaceful and reminds me of being back in Canada. When I was 14, I decided to drop out of school and became super interested in fuel cells. Was fortunate enough to university to get a PhD studying uh, fuel cell electrochemistry. And after graduating, I went to work at one of the world leading fuel cell companies in Vancouver. I knew very little coming from Canada about China. I had heard of Beijing and I had heard of Shenzhen and Shanghai. That's probably pretty much it. But then when I went to this fuel cell company, I heard the name Foshan, Foshan, Foshan. Yeah, and so Foshan became for me a very exciting city to visit because it was clearly like a major hub for the technology that I was so passionate about. Getting some opportunity to visit Foshan and, and potentially start a new business uh, my wife and I came to Foshan and the very first day I was here, I was just blown away with uh, how advanced that technology had become. There were fuel cell buses everywhere, more than I'd seen in my entire life. I do remember when we were driving to our hotel from the airport, seeing more fuel cell buses on that drive than I'd seen in my entire life in Canada. Shocked. Yeah, yeah, shocked. I, I didn't expect it. Elbow my wife. I said, look, look, they're everywhere. Yeah, it was just clear that if I want to pursue this fuel cell dream, this is the best city to be in the world. Let me introduce for you the fuel cell tram. This program from 2014 and uh, have a dual 87 module. Per module, uh, net output is 100 kilowatts. Right. Yeah. It's just it's mind blowing and super super rewarding to see that this technology is finally really being commercialized here. The most of the credit for that goes to some of the local government officials, like Vice Mayor Xu, who or they're just, you know, visionary in this area and they're passionate about it. And once they make a decision, they follow through with it until, until there's an actual product. And that's what you need, especially with alternative energy. It takes time to bring the cost down, to be competitive. And if you don't make that decision and that strong focus, there's no chance. I think Poshan in particular, I would say the biggest strength for the alternative energy is, is, is hydrogen. China is already leading for solar cells and for lithium ion batteries. And now fuel cells are like the next wave of alternative energy that's coming in to complement the alternative energy solutions that are already in place. I would say it's just, you know, there's a much larger GDP in China. It's a much bigger economy. And this type of investment, it requires a lot of money. And so I think that's the, one of the biggest differences is that China actually has the financial ability to put in a large investment into this technology. There's not many countries in the world that have the financial ability and, and also the focus to take that step. Foshan可以说走在中国氢能产业的最前列，走在了世界的前列。
二零二一联合国开发计划署氢能产业大会就在佛山举行，而在此之前，佛山就已经连续成功举办了五届中国佛山国际氢能与燃料电池技术及产品展览会，极大的推动了关键氢能技术的研发和产业化的同时，更是进一步加强国际氢能贸易合作。中国是世界上最大的产氢国，也是全球最大的燃料电池商用车市场和制造基地。氢能风口下，蕴藏着中国汽车产业弯道超车的重要机遇。I think so. Right now in Foshan, there's around 1,500 diesel buses. It's a lot. In other countries, for example, in Canada, if there's five fuel cell buses that are made, it's big news. Technology, it's still, honestly, it's at an early stage. The plans in Foshan are are very ambitious, as they are in all of China. I've been here for three years, but it it's still very exciting for me when I see these fuel cell buses. So my son knows a little bit about what I do. He knows about fuel cells, and yeah. Whenever he sees the blue fuel cell buses driving by in China, he always points and says, "Oh, daddy bus, daddy bus." <laughs> 